Uh, and Playmobil figurine inspired by a detailed HR complaint. <laughs> DeSantis made headlines recently after doing this. This morning, a surprising scene in Martha's Vineyard. Two planes filled with about 50 migrants landing on the island. 50 undocumented migrants, including several children, arriving in Martha's Vineyard. Flown in by Florida Republican governor and presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis. An effort to turn the spotlight to immigration just two months before the midterm elections. Yeah, it certainly was a surprising scene on Martha's Vineyard, which, to be honest, sounds like a romance novel designed to make you cum pumpkin spice. And look, obviously, sending a group of migrants there was extremely reckless because Martha's Vineyard isn't set up with any of the key resources that migrants need, unless, for some reason, they're desperate for a fishmonger to over-describe what it was like to sell Jackie O a pound of scallops in 1983. And if this seems like a stunt made for Fox News, you are absolutely right, but it also may have been made by Fox News. Because just two months ago, Tucker Carlson did a segment pointing out the whiteness of Martha's Vineyard, and he had this fun proposal. They are begging for more diversity. Why not send migrants there? In huge numbers. Let's start with 300,000 and move up from there. Okay, first... Martha's Vineyard is an island that has a year-round population under 20,000. So suggesting sending 300,000 people there is a little like suggesting you let Tucker Carlson bring you to sexual completion. It isn't just a disgusting idea, it's a logistically impossible one. But it seems DeSantis just took that idea and ran with it. So I guess it is true what they say. Good artists borrow, great artists steal, and racist governors get their ideas yelled at them by the human equivalent of the boat shoe found at the scene of a hazing death. <laughs> this stunt was both grim and deeply cynical, especially given that the migrants were reportedly lured there with empty promises of jobs and housing, and even handed brochures listing government assistance that they were not eligible for. In fact, that brochure was so sloppily designed that while it featured a flag for Massachusetts, that's not the state's actual flag. This is the real flag. That is just a fake flag they found from this post online made by somebody who said, and I quote, the current one blows, so I made this one. <laughs> the Boston Globe actually tracked down the guy who made it, who said, no one had seen this flag until some idiot staffer for DeSantis or whoever stumbled across it. I cannot fathom why they would use the wrong one, adding, this is all hilarious, although at the same time deeply sad, because the real story is asylum seekers being exploited and human trafficked, which is absolutely true. Also, you would think Ron DeSantis might have caught that error, given that he spent three years at Harvard Law School, which is, correct me if I'm wrong, in fucking Massachusetts. <laughs> I really hope DeSantis paid more attention to the law part of law school, especially as it seems like he might well need it right now, given that a Texas sheriff has opened a criminal investigation into the migrants' trips to Martha's Vineyard. And if you think you hold on, why a Texas sheriff and not a Florida one? Well, it turns out, for all DeSantis' talk about the urgency of this issue for his voters, these migrants didn't even come from his state. Why not? You know what? I'll just let him explain. The problem is, is we're not seeing mass movements of them into Florida. So you end up with a car with maybe two. And if we know that that's illegal and there's someone that's kind of smuggling and then, then committing crime, then you can do arrests. There have been drug seizures. But... That's not effective enough to stop the mass migration, but it's just coming in onesie twosies. Okay. 